Welcome everyone to episode one of Drink This. Um, Ron is your host. I'm host number two, Bruce, and we got a special guest tonight, Barney Menard. Joining us, a wine expert, deep, deep knowledge in the field of wine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're going to be comparing three different California wines, Cabernet Sauvignons from different areas in California. Liberty School, $20 price point, Bread and Butter, $20.35, and then Aquinas at $25. So hopefully we're going to come up with some interesting comparisons and a winner for you. And I uh, hope you get to try one or all three and definitely get back to us on your opinions. Press like button and uh, join us on our trip as we learn wine together. And by the end of the show, we're going to tell you our preferred wine and suggest that you give it a shot. Try it on the weekend, let us know if you like it or not. And you can also give us a recommendation of what you might want us to try for the next show. Don't be shy, subscribe, leave comments, join in, join in the party. Party? Party. Someone said party? I'm in. Hopefully crafted that Cab Sauvignon that enters the palate with layers of ripe, ripe blackberry and chocolate covered cherries. So the bar is high. I don't know if we're going to detect any of this, but uh, we'll give it a shot. It does have a pretty nice nose, actually, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. You get some nice, uh, nice fruit action there. You can so. smell a little bit of vanilla in there as well. I can understand why this is probably the last bottle in Quebec. It is a nice wine. Yeah, it is. 13.5% alcohol. Not too bad. Uh, I mean, we enjoy a good bottle, but we're not uh, sommeliers, we're not pros. Uh, we don't work in restaurants. Uh, we just like what we like, and uh, we want to give some recommendations to you, thinking you might like similar things. If you like it and want to follow along, hit that subscribe button down below. We really appreciate it. And uh, follow us week to week for some good recommendations. Yeah, and hopefully we'll learn together. Yeah, it's a progress. It's a journey. It is. Mm -hmm. a journey. So why don't we uh, try uh, comparing this with uh, another bottle? And no more squeaking glasses on the uh, counter. Squeaking. That's you. That's you. Pour away, Mr. Guest. So, so, well, I think that the bar has already been set high. Yeah, I think we may have started with the best choice. one, but we'll see. I haven't had this before. Oh, you'll, you'll you like it. You said it's one of your favorite wines, right? Yeah, yeah that's actually, it's one, yeah, definitely. I buy it by the case. Whenever, whenever I see it, I walk by, I see it, I buy six bottles at a time. Oh, neither can I. Don't, don't, don't tell my wife don't about this. Don't tell the wife. Don't tell my wife. She's not allowed watching. This. We were okay. editing this out, right? Yeah. Can I have a glass, please? Or else I'm going to have to drink out of the bottle. So Again. one of the notes we're supposed to... Uh, oh, you know what? I read the bottle and I thought... Because we were talking earlier about... Uh, we mentioned in last week's episode about firing off about 25 different flavor uh, aromatic profiles and such. I was reading the back of this one and they say it has aromas of a briar patch. Yeah. I don't know what a briar patch is. <laughs> Maybe I'm just, you know, on the dumb side. When I, uh, when I check out the nose on this wine, I get a good dose of alcohol. I wonder if yeah. it's a little bit It's 14.5% alcohol. It yeah. you can, you it's can, a can, nice kicker. You can yeah. pick that up right yeah. now. Versus 13.5. So that's on one of the reasons better. why it's one of my favorite bottles, because you have one bottle per person and... Excellent. Hello, mama. Every cab tastes, you can smell vanilla in it. There's woods, uh, there's wild dark, berries. Dark fruits, there's really. dark fruits in it. So you, every one of them has that. What else can I add to it to make it that little bit different? Where it's, you're not gonna go, ooh, that's not really good, or like, hmm, that's interesting. Have any of you watched the uh, show Sneaky Pete? No. no. It's definitely a worth watching. And yeah. at one point, they're doing a scam on, you know, wine, selling wine bottles, and they're actually putting all kinds of crap <laughs> in the wine in order to be able to sell it as this high-end wine. And one of them is pencil shavings and they're putting everything and the kitchen sink in order to go get all those flavors yeah. that someone's expecting. It could have been. And some uh, very inexpensive wines, they do add things like they'll take cedar chips and actually mm -hmm. dump them into the wine to give it a bit of a woody aroma on the cheap side. Okay. Mm. It's got a funny smell to it. It does. I mean, I'm not a, like I said, not a sommelier, so I can't think of uh, too many fancy words, but uh, but it's a little weird. But the taste is not awful. No. It smells not awful either. So it's very different. It's it's a lot lighter in, in order than the uh, the other two, definitely. Do we know the the price points in all these bottles? The bread bread and butter uh, Canadian price uh, here in Quebec is twenty thirty five. So um, very reasonable. 
uh, just hard to find. 25 bucks, not that hard to find. Um, they'll, they'll maybe out of stock for about a week or so, then uh, they come back in, they order a lot of those. Um, like I said before, I buy at least six bottles at a, at a time. This is the last one out of my... So uh, I know. I'm guessing this, this is the last uh, one out of my wine cellar, so... This might be 18 or 19, do we know? It's 20... dollars $20. About 20 bucks. We're going to be doing different shows uh, with a lot of different kinds of wines, uh, different regions, also different price points. So I'm sure when we start getting into those uh, $60, $70 plus wines, we'll probably decant them a little bit. So you better press... Uh, hit the subscribe, hit the subscribe button. button. Thanks. Uh, am I going to be invited for those uh, tastings, or I'm only here for like the 20 buck one? So. You find the uh, Liberty School, for lack of a better expression, is just a little more boring than the other simple. two. Simple. It's a simple wine. It's, it's, I call I call it more like a house wine. Yeah, yeah but it's almost the same price as yeah. the bread and butter, yeah. but it doesn't quite match in the, no. in, the, in the flavor. No, but it's I think it's a more mass-produced wine. So I'm, I'm so let's bring this together, boys. Uh, what do we see here? Uh, do we have a, a consensus on the top line? Well, I was saying to Ron earlier today that uh, we're kind of. We weren't sure if we were going to have a consensus on the opinion and if, if there was going to be some discussion, we'd have to come up with some scoring and then we'd add up the scores and kind of... Well, I mean, how about one to, one to three? Uh, pretty well, easy. I don't, I don't think we need to tonight at all. I think we're all in agreement with... Uh, no, I, don't th I think if we go from favorite. bottom to top, this we can eliminate. Well, this would be... Liberty School. Yeah, yeah that'd be yeah. third place. But I prefer the bread and butter over the... Oh, kids. yeah? See, and I'm the other way around. I prefer the Aquinas because I, I find that it's got more bite to it, longer in, in mouth, while the bread and butter, I find it just dies out too quickly. Now, that said, the reason I do is probably because I don't have a steak in front of me. Here's here. Here's cheers. You don't know what you're, you're talking, talking about. about. Don't talk to me. Well, I'm, I, am, I am cheersing with the Aquinas. All right, there you go. We'll give you that. So, uh, to wrap it up, I think um, it's two out of three. We're, uh, we're going to recommend... The, uh, how do you sell it? Say it. We, Aquinas? Aquinas. We are Saint Thomas? It's actually named after oh, St. Yeah, Thomas, Thomas Aquinas. 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 We are in agreement that of the three, the Liberty School is probably a skip. Pass, unless, a pass on that one. pass if you want to. Uh, Especially like at 20 bucks. Wine. We can get some better wines for yeah. 20 bucks. Right. Um, definitely more uh, bang for your buck with the Aquinas. Um, my personal preference, bread and butter. Um, but again that's bring that bottle over i'm not yeah. sure we can see it yeah. that's what the the joy of uh tasting wines and having a good wine with friends is you don't necessarily always have to agree and i always have to disagree with ron anyways because the aquinas principle, uh, principle. principle just by principle but the aquinas is the better wine yes definitely if i'm looking at two twenty dollar bottle of wines i definitely go for bread and butter before liberty school any day of the week our Sounds whole like point time. is to learn and to hopefully educate and entertain you at the same time and so, to drink more wine and to drink more wine if any excuse to drink wine drink is why we're more sitting wine? here our uh, recommendation for the night is uh, is going to be the Aquinas wine. It's uh, I can't think what to say. My brain went numb. It's the second best wine we tasted tonight. No, it's the no, best. <laughs> it's the best one. Uh, two out of three wine drinkers at this table prefer the Aquinas. So that's our recommended bottle uh, for this week. Uh, we think it's certainly worth a try. Uh, but the bread and butter, you won't go wrong buying that one either. It's an excellent wine. Yeah, uh, you, you do it, yeah, then, you he'll, do it. then he'll do it again. Wait, 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 wait. Just so they can have fun. Just so they can have fun. The sweat that's rolling down my eyes. Didn't I, I call see. it? Didn't I call it? Yeah. Who Jim needed Barney the face cloth? <laughs> <laughs> the lights. I'm in the center. I get all the lights. It's hot though, man. So yeah. thanks a lot for tuning in. We did a, a little better than we thought with the inaugural one last week. Uh, looking forward to doing this show, and it, it came off uh, quite nicely. We got to try some excellent wines. Uh, two in particular that all three of us really love, uh, but our recommendation. Big word, eh? Recommendation. Starting, starting. Okay. We're gonna use small words now. Thank you. Well, tasting without any. I'd rather uh, have a bottle in front of me than a frontal, frontal lobotomy. Bloomy. Bloomy. Cheers. 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 Yeah. I think Barney Ooh. and I are gonna pick on you tonight and say uh, you're no. full of poo poo. No, but like we said earlier, about. like we said earlier, it's we all have personal tastes. The joy of wine. Exactly. We can all appreciate different things. I am I am happy to be outvoted, especially when I'm right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. going for the good stuff, eh? For the, for the record, for the record, I'm a you. I like both of them, like you guys. Oh, I think they're both very good, but I, I like, like what's one. happening in this one. Yeah. Yeah.
off. So how about uh, a, how about a two bottle recommendation? When your friends arrive for dinner, we're gonna serve up some bread oh, and butter I'd, while I'd, we're chatting. Yeah, yeah. And then when we bread serve the food, then we'll crack open the. Uh, this aquinas. is a great evening with friends. Yeah. You start with this, finish and with a good steak. And, and put, pull this guy out. Price the steak right the now. Combination. Ha better be really good friends. A double recommendation. No, but definitely yeah. like. If I'm having friends over and we're, we have these two wines available, it's going to be a great night. You can't lose. Can't lose. Uh, um, just try like, finding one. And yeah. a bottle of port to wrap things up. There two bottles go. of port. Okay. You need to do a port show. Definitely. Yeah, That's why it was called Drink This shows. and Not Drink This Wine. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us on our inaugural uh, recording of Drink This. Uh, we'd love to thank Barney for uh, joining us. Uh, hopefully you will all click the like button and the uh, subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and join us on this ride. Uh, we want to learn together. We're far from being experts, but hopefully we can give you some good insight and some good wines. Uh, tonight, uh, the Aquinas won out despite the fact that uh, my bread and butter came in a, a close second. And hopefully you can try out all three and give us your opinions and we'll be glad to uh, share them with the rest of the viewers and hopefully we can learn together. So have a great night. Cheers. Cheers everyone. Cheers. Your dad's good at this. Cabernet Sauvignon. Tonight we're... Shh. Action. Hey, wait a minute. Action. You were bantering back from when I was talking hey. about it. Oh, sorry. What? Tonight we're tasting some California Cabernet Sauvignons. We're always going to try and pick a region, uh, a grape type, and a price point so that we're comparing uh, some equal... Grapes to grapes? Lost my brain. My brain's not working. Grapes to grapes. You had one? We're, uh, we're had trying some California Cabernet Sauvignons tonight. I thought he was tonight. the straw man in uh, Wizard of Oz. We're always going to be trying... Start again. Start again. Tonight we're trying some California Cabernets. We're out... <laughs> Cut! Oh, come on! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Yeah, that's going on for sure. There's our blooper <laughs> rule. I don't even know what that was. But put them up! Put them up! Put, 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 put them up! <laughs> put them up! Tonight we're drinking California red wine! Yeah! yeah!